Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video with me here at Sam of Somalia. Today we've got another sort of Somali language slash culture bite and uh, it's all about the camel. Um, you know, the same way that supposedly we, we all hear that the, the, the Eskimos have like a million words for, the, for snow, the Somalis need about a million words for camel as well. And um, in this video I'm only going to go over my six very favourites. Um, a little while ago I put up a little image on my Instagram saying to you guys, you know, I know, well, I know two words for camel which I learned when I was learning Somali University and have read recently um, and I said help me out give, give, give me some other words because I have heard that the Somalis like the Arabs have thousands of different words for camel so um, we're gonna do a little video about that we're gonna chat about why that's important and sort of why that's important in like Somali society and stuff too so the first thing to mention is that Islamically not, not just within Somali culture that Islamically um, the camel has a real importance. We know that in Surah Ghashia, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, after Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, You know, encouraging us to ponder over what an amazing animal it is. That it can literally go for weeks with no water and things like that. Like, what, what, what an incredible animal it is. Um, and it's also amazing that the ayah after it, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but have you not seen how amazing the camel, how amazingly the camel was created? It also says, "Wa ila sama rufi'at," and look at the sky, how it was raised up. Like Allah has put those ayahs next to each other. Like how amazing the camel is, and how amazing the sky is. Like they're they're, they're both pretty amazing things. Like Allah really wants us to contemplate how amazing, how, what, what an amazing animal the camel is. And uh, Alhamdulillah, the Somali people have spared no efforts in, uh, you know. Distinguishing between its very nuances of what age it is, um, you know, what size it is, what colour it is, what its use is, and things like that. So, so that's the first thing, like the Islamic significance of it. The second thing is that the camel's milk is a very, very, um, you know, has has even like medicinal benefits. Um, apparently, I was reading recently that like sixty percent of the milk that's drank in Somalia is actually camel milk, and and even is appropriate for babies to drink. Even babies can drink camel milk. When uh, when we had our son, when we had our little boy, um, we had an uncle explain to us that in Somalia, if a baby is struggling to breastfeed from its mother, like a human baby, then you could even give that baby milk from a camel, and, and, and that camel will be like that baby's camel like the camel will will nurse the baby and that's amazing like I, I, I'd never I'd never heard anything like that I mean I don't know if that's just I don't know if he's having a laugh with me so if you know that that's true then please put it in the comments below like I'd love to hear from you guys if you know if that's true so um Islamically camel is serious business is important important animal um secondly uh for its milk is very very serious and then uh, the third thing is actually for its meat um i did a previous video i'll link you up in the description um if you're interested in watching another video about the camel meat there's a type of camel meat called otka um called otka some of you call it mokmat as well there are two two words for it there's otka and mokmat and um it's sort of like camel jerky like dried kind of camel meat and that's very nice but uh, the word for like a more generic term for meat of a camel is hilibgeel Hilibgeel, and that brings us on to the first word, um, the first kind of most generic word for camel in Somali. So even though, as I say, that there are probably thousands of words for camel in Somali, and we know that there are, um, and even on my Instagram, I've probably given 20 in the space of like a day, <laughs> different words, but I've chosen my six most favourite, and those are the ones that we're going to go over. So number one is kind of the most broad and generic term for a camel, which is gale, gale. The second of my favourite is um, one which kind of means like, uh, I've seen it in like Somali textbooks to mean like a burden camel or like a camel that is made for carrying things and to do work, to, yeah, to do work generally, whether it's carrying heavy loads and things like that. And that's called awr, awr. That's the second one. Uh, the third one is uh, a word for like a, a young camel. I, I think a young male camel is nirig, nirig. Um, the fourth one, um, there are two two words for it. It's the same one. It's either barqab or um, or dab, dab or barqab, and that means like an adult male. Like if 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 a camel has has become dab or barqab, it means that it's it's it wants to start looking for a female. It wants to start looking for a female camel. So that brings me on to one of the next words, which is the word hal, which means a female camel. Hal, which is like a, a woman, a, a female camel. Um, hal also means the number one as well. If you're going to say like, if you're going to say like what, one day, it's like Hal Marlin, one day. So I, I don't know if there is like a slight pronunciation difference between like the number one, Hal, 
and howl for the camel. But um, anyway, so there's one more that I really like. So th there's a name for a camel which is Horowen. Horowen, which is another word for a female camel, but it's a camel that's about to give birth. Whereas like in the very late stages of pregnancy, Horowen is, is, is that last one. So let's have a little run through all of them just to remind you which are my favourites and to give you a little introduction into, into Somali camels. Gel, Aur, Dab or Barqab, Hal, Horowen, Nirig. Thank you all very much for joining me for another Somali culture and language bite. And if any of you have any really interesting facts or anything like that that you want to share with the rest of the Somali or Sam community, then uh, just put, put them in the comments below and other people can benefit from it, inshallah. Other people who are like me learning Somali or people who are even further behind me and just starting to learn Somali. So that's everything from me for now. If you enjoyed this little Somali language bite, and I really hope you did, don't forget to like and share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.